Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore what an electron volt is. It's actually a unit of energy. Even though it has the word volt in it, it's a unit of energy, and it's actually a very small unit of energy. It turns out it is the work or the amount of energy required to move a single electron or a proton, a singular charge, across a potential difference of one volt. So for example, if we have a region here between two metal plates that have additional charge on it, some positive charge here, some negative charge here, in such a way that the electric field here is, has a strength of 10 newtons per coulomb directed to the right, and let's say that the plates are at a distance of 0.1 meter apart from one another. So what's the potential difference between the plates? Well, in this case, we can say that the potential here at A is going to be higher than the potential at B. And the difference, VA minus VB, is equal to the strength of the field times the distance from A to B. So in this case, that's going to be equal to 10 newtons per coulomb times 0.1 meters, which is equal to 1 newton meter per coulomb. And of course, that would be equal to 1 joule per coulomb, and by definition, a joule per coulomb is indeed one volt. So you can see that we have a setup here where the difference in potential from A to B is exactly one volt. Now, the work required to push an electron across from A to B, and of course, the electron doesn't want to be there because there's additional negative charges, and it's being attracted to positive charges, so you will have to push and do work to get the electron to move to the other, to the other side. So we can say that the work done is going to be equal to the force times the distance traveled. And of course, since it's along the same line, the same direction, we don't have to worry about the cosine of the angle. The angle is zero degrees. And so the force experienced by a, by a charge inside an electric field is equal to the size of the field times the charge times d. And over here, we wrote down the charge of a single electron, which is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. It's a very small amount of charge. And typically, we we'll just call it 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So here we have the work done to do that, and that should then be equal to an electron volt if it's a single electron being pushed across a single volt, as we have defined over here. So in this case, the work done is equal to the electric field, which is 10 newtons per coulomb times the charge, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, times the distance, which is 0.1 meter. Notice that coulomb cancels out with coulomb. And then we have newton meter. And of course, newton meter is a joule. And that then becomes equal to, work is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And that means that this is equal to one electron volt by definition, which means an electron volt is the same amount of energy as 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And that's where the definition came from. And practically, in mathematical terms, that's how we convert from joules to electron volts or from electron volts to joules. That's what we mean by an electron volt. 